Okay, so there is one other option that we haven't tried with these guys. I am not sure what to make of you being here. If you want a dark cup, I guess I should just... That See. is not something, as far as you are concerned. Now, do you mind? Yep, it's dumb. You really do not know which one of us is Reg, and you do not seem to care either. We... Okay, I have idea. We can... Then, when we dock, <laughs> we will leave him on this ship and... First, you offer peaceful solution, and now Let's you see. are asking me to betray. Damn it! I do <laughs> not have choice, do I? Right. All I'm right. Given the All context, right, do it. I've yeah. got no love oh, cool. for the fleet. All right. And if Rake was one of them, my loyalty is with him. End. Cool. But if I do this. You have to promise to spare the rest of the crew and leave the supplies for new homestead. Oh, yes. Fingers you know crossed. It takes for you to flip on me, Dimitri. Unbelievable. It is either you or all of us, Austin. I am sorry. Cut the crap and just admit it. You're a coward. <laughs> you know, I almost bought it. All that crap about helping people and making a difference. But at <laughs> the end of the day, you're no different from the fleet. When push comes to shove, you only care about yourself. I'm out. We're losing. This is bad. How did that happen? Did he get the cap? He got the captain. <laughs> um. Let's see. Austin really a member of the fleet? But he seemed so normal. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave him. We're gonna. We got the the result that we needed. He's gone, the dude. I know that I can't get the rest of the ship for some reason. It won't let me board it. Just annoying. You know. Open game. This you should be able to take the ship and do what you want, right? Let's go ahead and undock. Go ahead and fly back. Yeah, that's far map. Try to make our way back. And we could also go. There's the eye. Near the eye. We'll just jump right back. <laughs> Loading screen. <laughs> there we go. Our just don't know how to take a hit. Hey, Rook, wanna help me with some target practice? Sure. Engines, please. Finish them off by the looks of it. 
There's multiple of them left. We got a little over ambitious. Let's just take them out. Oh, that's our, that's our friend. No one messes with the Crimson Fleet. I think this we can pick up the engines. Our friends. Are we docking? Are we docking? Yes, I think we're docking. We're getting a dock. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's highlight. Yeah, ecliptic dudes or whatever they're called. Oh. Get it up. We're gonna go do this ourselves. Yep. Our rifle gun. Yep. Stiletto. Oh, is there no? There's no gravity. Oh. Okay, so we got a zero G fight. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. G combat is legit. Okay. What are you? Alright. Take the ship or leave it. We're taking the ship. Are you kidding me? We've fended them off. Friends, here they are. Better spacesuit. Energy protection is better. Airborne EM is better. I yeah, see you don't get everything that they have on them, which is kind of definitely. I'm not such a big fan of that. Yep, we got cargo hold there. Let's see what we got. What we got here, huh? Oh, gravity. Gravity's back on. Let's see what we got here. Damage charge ship. 25% health. Mm 
This engine's damaged beyond repair. Not from home, like, oh, that's our shield. So we do have a little bit of engine. We just kind of were moving around a little bit there. Yeah. I, I would like to first get some ship parts for this. Right, cool. So that's like a essentially a med pack for this vehicle. So, let's go get this other one. So, doing a lot better. Okay. We've got, what else have we got here? Pirate ship. So, yeah. So could hail the Thanks for the help with the cliptic. I had it under control, but <laughs> definitely went faster after you jumped into the oh, fight. Now them. tell me about the Ragana. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. Cool. Um. Huh. No kidding. That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. <laughs> I would have preferred if you hadn't left witnesses behind, but... At least you got the job done. <laughs> anyway, you wanted into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Well, he did kill the captain. Yep, it's that simple. Hope this business with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. If you screw up and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm going to send someone after you. We clear? Last person who said that was Rake. <laughs> so you've already dug yourself a hole about six feet deep. <laughs> and now that you know the deal, it's time to see what you signed up for. I'm going to upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key, the fleet calls the key. it home. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. Nice. Okay. Report to the vigilance. I think we should, but like, before we do that, let's fill this, right? Okay, so ours. Is... In our new ship. Just acquired from the elliptic. I don't know who that is really, but we got guns, so to worry about. Join ya. Yeah, please. So we gotta fly over the planet before we land. After. Yeah, this is ours. Okay. 
can uh, kind of fly here. I think I can see like something over there to the side there. So we're gonna try and claim this as ours if we can. I don't know how much it's gonna cost. I have to do quests. But I think if we communicate with the vigilance people, that'll help us a good amount. Okay. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority? Anything I can help you with? Uh, repair the okay, ship? Okay, sure. Okay, no problem. Let's see. Sure. It's got a crew size of four. It's got a bigger crew size. Kind of legit. Let's see. Thirteen thousand. The pirate ship. It's called a pirate ship now. That's kind of epic. Okay. Um, though I think this is a good one. Pretty balanced. Good ship. I guess we've got three ships now. Um, Star map. You see vigilance. Yep. We are going to inform them. Because it's money. Let's go ahead and dock. Into the vigilance. Do what we do. It's double agent. We're going to get money from these dudes, and it's going to actually um, make it so that we can. Uh, Help the pirates. Let's really take these guys out. That's the that's the, the move. Commander Ikande wants to see you. Follow me. I had a My family's all in the UC Navy. I hope being I'll be able to see him next time. I got sure. bragging rights. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and see the dude. Hello. You're back. Anything to report? We received word you boarded the Ragana. I don't care if Rake was with the fleet. The pilot and his crew were not. What you did was uncalled for. <laughs> That'd be a problem for saving the majority of the I crew. don't care how many you saved. I care that there was a casualty. We don't handle things around here by using murder as a tool. You've been hired to act like one of the fleet, but you can't get lost in the part. We still have rules <laughs> that need to be followed. Understood? Well said. Let's hope the next time your actions match the integrity of your words. <laughs> Now I want to make this crystal clear. You do what you can to stay in the fleet. But there is an ethical line we cannot cross. Okay. Do something like this again, and you're out. Permanently. <sighs> But for now, we will continue with the briefing. Were you at least able to join the fleet? Yep. Then it worked. You're in. As distasteful as your methods were, at least you managed to complete the job. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good <laughs> side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. Yes, you pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Or she intends to make an example of you later. Oh, perfect. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. Nice. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So, what's next for you on Neva's agenda?
where you'll meet Delgado, no doubt. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. Perfect. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. Perfect. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that result. You know, I know it's kind of cheesy to roll the dice all the different ways, but I, I gotta play RPGs sometimes. Like, what happens if I do this? If I do that? I mean, the crew almost, uh, almost didn't hear anything. Okay. Let's go into our cockpit. Okay, it goes to the key. Oh, that's gonna be a while before we get there. It's so Galaxy map. Um, I don't know. A lot of different options here. Yep, it'd be nice to see the course here. Yeah, we can go here. Hard star. Jump. We're gonna do a couple jumps. To unknown space. Yeah, go by Cheyenne. Doing that. System defense. Let's go ahead and go over here. I mean, we don't need salvaging rights because they're not even gonna go for the salvage. We can just get that later ourselves. Oh, are we full? That's saying. Can go to there. Yep, go to Shining. Because I don't think we've been to the free star space. 
Do I love energy actually or grab? Probably jump very safely. This is Free Star Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Okay, cool. Actually, just take a second and uh, we are in this shift quick <laughs> from quick to and um, just gonna let you yeah, see what we got here. Oh, we've got like a bunch of our stuff from the other thing. Looks like what is this? This is. Stuff in here. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. It's here. This is just like okay. really. It's just gonna make me use the ladder, huh? Can't mid midway go to the other thing either. go and sit like this but like it's like not like a sport we now have like an easy thing but we're, we weren't boarded to anything that's why never bored <laughs> What am I doing? Finance outpost, mining outpost, city. I mean, Aquila City is super legit from what I've seen, so I'm kind of wanting to check it out just a very cursory glance at least. Oh, just also, so we got an arm at. Oh, yeah, we've been here. I think the main quest takes you here. Our ship. Kind of a weird design, you know? It's like this big old thing as you walk out. It's kind of interesting in its own way. Um, look at the resources on the planet. The mining outposts and science outposts, which we might be able to clear out of enemies. Supposed to be meeting up with the pirates. And... Let's see this just real quick. Word to the wise. Cheap services. That's not a problem. And you're springing for the new reactor? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left on. Sure, how about it? <laughs> we got breathable air here. We're like... This is more shields on it. Got 24 particles. Like a lot more offensive. This is a lot more defensive, though. Might be better. I don't know. 
think we'll stick with the cryptic for now. Yes. Can I get an invoice? <laughs> what you need one of those for? Corporate policy. Is it okay if I just write it on a notepad? <laughs> as long as it's written and signed, it could be on a loaf of bread. I wish all the pods worked like a killer city. No nonsense. <laughs> it's pretty dangerous out in space these days. Funny. Dude. Just a rambler. Talk to some rambles. Science outpost out here. Good as Skink's science outpost. Actually, you know, there's probably a mission board that's like, where would the mission board be? Are it's for NPCs. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Galbang. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Job gone wrong. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find the security we around trust, here is a joke. Like I who? have complete confidence not you, in the marshal. And not one of your rangers, and not these city guards neither. <sighs> the hell am I supposed to do with that? Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Yeah, bank. You see anything going on here? SSNN says that spacers and the fleet are getting worse. Uh, okay. So there's a back door there. I don't think we're supposed to go that way. We'll start it. Get messy if we do. Okay. Oh. You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't <laughs> know you. Now, please stand back. Mm. I wish <laughs> I could say you were wrong, but I'm backed into a corner here. That's right. Some folks from the Shaw gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. <laughs> they took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't... In other words, they didn't have a plan. <laughs> it might come to that. But first, find out what they want. Hey, you in the bank. Fools of all. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. <laughs> Hands where I can see them. And don't try nothing. Take me up quick. You're the negotiator, huh? <laughs> you think you're just gonna walk up <laughs> here and get us to surrender? You're dead wrong. Mm hmm. Jed. Jed Bullock. <laughs> well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? <laughs> I don't know you, so why should you right, word see mean anything can, to me? Let's see if we can do it. I, uh, I see what you mean. Well, <laughs> I guess you have There's no way. It. Scrapes in this, we can handle being stuck in a bank. 
Sure you get. Nothing you say is gonna change my mind, so let's just move on. Alright. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere. After that, we'll radio back where they are. But if anybody follows us when we break... Oh, hell, the Free Star Rangers have got... Sh this whole damn job. So let's just... What do you hey. mean? It's not gonna work Nobody though. It's not enough. We won't have to rot in jail for the rest of our lives. I know, I know. Oh. I'm not disagreeing with that. We got a chance, maybe. You have to believe me. We never meant to take hostages. <laughs> Nobody's been hurt. So maybe the judge won't come Ooh. down too hard on us. Hey. Tell the marshal we'll come quietly. Nice. Okay. Well, we didn't need to shoot them. What's the word? Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. <laughs> Excuse How'd me. you pull that off? <laughs> Considering those are Shaw's people, that's damn near a miracle. Here, you've more than earned this. All right. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. Nice. Cool. Got some well cash. Well done. Well done indeed. <laughs> Come on, baby. Marco, are you all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? It's okay. I'm Moving okay. to Midtown is I, I, I just the best thing minute. that's happened to us. The worst thing is, I could really see loving it here. We just need a chance. We'll, well take it from here. Fun. <laughs> no, no, nothing like that happened. They were more scared than we were. Okay. People in this city are so obsessed with their traditions, <laughs> they can't handle even the slightest change in the way things are thought of. <laughs> okay. Glad that's over with. Let's see. I think I want to keep on doing this. It's bad. Yep. We're going to keep on going. Onward, the pirates. The base. Respect somebody who rides in a ship full of bodies if you're a pirate. Like, oh, hello. He's full of what are those? It's the Hober. Hober Mallow. The, the, the key. We'll go into the key. Nice. So, this is like a big space station full of pirates. It's a good dungeon, but also an even better base, I imagine. You know, these places always are really legit. Just gonna go straight to boarding. Cut. Get out of my face. You said the tick was 10k, but it was 30. Big <laughs> difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. You wanted 4k, you got 4k. Not my problem. <laughs> if you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. Are you kidding me? Way to make a mess in front of my new rook. Hey, steal from me and get caught. Better off dead. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. 
<laughs> now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. <laughs> the hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? Never apologize. Not if you want anyone in the fleet to respect you. And if they don't respect you, put a gun to their head and they'll get the message. But, all that aside, you made it. So now, you get to hear a nifty history lesson. <laughs> Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Keep. Used to be an old UC military star station, <laughs> and now... It's the fleet's base of operations. Legit. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> you think? And that's only part of it. I'll let Delgado fill you in on the whole story. <laughs> he tells it better anyway. But I can give you the short version while we walk the station. I'm sure they're trying to anyway, retake it. Oh, I'll tell man. you all about the keep. But it's better if I show you too. Follow me. Do we get to defend it? Big signs. Right. Big now. History time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvarov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, key. Ah, uh, cute, huh? Since <laughs> prison colony people, oh my god, perfect. Okay, I like the Crimson Fleet now. All of a sudden, this prison just broke out from the evil empire. Okay, this just got a lot like uh, Andor. Now, we've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, <laughs> sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little space yeah, Just in once. case. Oh, And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit cool. up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, <laughs> we were talking about the lock. Nice. That's about funny. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. Yeah, legit. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. <laughs> You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook, where you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. <laughs> whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. <laughs> Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost the And you're gonna have valuable stuff. Here. Should have done their homework. Yes, yeah, sure. Laugh it up. I remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. <laughs> Let's move on. Nice. Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Crix had a lot to do with all that, but, uh, we'll get to him later. Crix. Brooks, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuro amps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take oh, care of cool. you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way. Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you <laughs> when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. Uh, the prices the right, may be high. But these goods the ain't exactly easy to I'm find. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. 
<laughs> the <laughs> authorities, the tourists. You've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you know? Okay. This is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. Mm. And right here is the most important place on the entire station the Reckoner's Corps, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. <laughs> you mean Austin Wraith? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost-effective. Then yeah. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. <laughs> anyway, what Shinya will thing? get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. <laughs> in fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Glad you approve. <laughs> Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, <laughs> I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind My goodness. and a certain degree of safety. Right. It's why he's the boss. Of course, I'm not the first Reckoner to bear a bomb under my rib cage, but Delgado was smart enough to continue the tradition. Tradition? Now, let me get you set up. Goodness. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications even Dugin would envy, I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run of the mill cyber runner. Cyber runner. Yeah, you're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround oh, the core. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Well, we got now, new jobs. I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. <laughs> all right, listen up. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay doors have been repaired. Oh, and you're welcome, Nev. See anything you like? We can talk about whatever you want, as long as... See what you got. An arc wall there, neuro boost, mark one. Want to see instigation? It's, it's there. It's there. Okay. 
come back and see me sometime. I'm not gonna do that right now. It's apparently a bar there. I'm gonna go by here though. It's been a little bit longer than I liked doing an episode. I'm gonna end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.